Hey there, this is the Ectac Kyle here, and um, I'm recording this actually the day it comes out for uh, my top 10 uh, Smash wants. The game is is not going to have any more characters, so I decided to make this list of my top 10 wants, and uh, it was pretty hard to make actually, not going to lie, but I came up with it, and uh, yeah. So, uh, first, there were, um, my honorable mentions here. We have, um, the everybody in Brawl, which didn't make it in, which were Snake, Wolf, and Ice Climbers. Um, those were more of in, I wish they were, they were in there, but, you know, they're not. Um, then there was, then there were the people I actually felt bad for. Uh, the people that actually really wanted them, that actually did have a following behind it. Uh, which were King K. Rule. Uh, Rayman, uh, Wonder Red, and Gino. I, although I didn't personally want them, um, more a lot of people did. So, you know, um, Gino. I guess it's pretty cool that he's in, but you know, like, like he's in as a me costume. But I don't like me costumes, and will probably never buy one in my life unless somebody gives me money too, because they want to use it when they're over. Um, Wonder Red, I think that would have been pretty cool, and I, we got, I got an, I saw an explanation this morning from some guy that wanted it, and then, uh, Rayman, the whole leak thing was pretty funny, and then King K. Rule, like, he did get a skin, so, you know, yeah. So, my number 10 is, uh, Taboo from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um... I liked I liked the campaign, so I feel like if well this would have been like a last game probably thing because he would have been the last. It would have been like oh yeah we're, we're kind of coming full circle and you know so it's it was more of a want because um I liked the campaign mode I don't know how many people did but I thought it was interesting um but I think he'd be t he's too tall and he's too godly so I don't really know and his final smash I don't even know what that would be. But he had an insane moveset, and I would have loved to seen it, at least as a boss in Smash 4. So, going to number 9 is Girahim from Skyward Sword. Although he is an assist trophy, I would have wanted him in Smash after... And I did say this in one of my Skyward Sword videos. Uh, and then uh, Hennessy backed me up. He, it, it was his number 1. Um, or it is his number 1 still. Maybe he'll be in the next Smash. Like, as a playable character. And then, you know... I feel bad for the people with Luigi too, and who wanted them him in the game. Um, but I think Gira him would have been an interesting uh, thing because he did have attacks, and he wasn't just like a clone of like anyone really. And uh, although like there is a clone right now, which is Ganondorf, and I wish that Ganondorf was, uh, you know, uh, he 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 held his dual wield swords because I think that would have been way better than what he is now. Um, but yeah, gear him actually. Um, I was pretty disappointed after after uh, we fought him in the uh, in the forest temple. If I think that's what it was called. So moving on, the number eight is Silver the Hedgehog from Sonic. Um, we don't have another Sonic representative, which I feel like if you're in the game twice, you usually do get another representative. Like, hmm. Um, let's see, Fox got a secondary, and then he got a third one, which was both, and then he got taken out, and, um, well, you know, you usually get somebody after a while, so, you know, like, even Pit got, got someone else, I feel like maybe Sonic should have gotten something too, because Pit didn't even come out with a game for, like, a big amount of time, and Sonic was on their system, like, he was also an exclusive with the Wii U and, uh, the Wii games of Sonic Colors and Lost World, you know, maybe they would want to do that. I don't know. And then, um, oh, and also with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Sonic Boom, the, uh, the, 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 the tip of the worst game in the world. Because I'm not going to lie, it was pretty bad. I remember I was online getting Smash Bros, actually. Um, and some kid got Sonic Boom, and I was just like, oh my gosh. I saw stuff for, like, uh, what's his name? Um... From uh from the uh, a channel on YouTube and it was like the glitchiest game ever. I don't even I think I think that game might be worse than Sonic 06, and that's pretty stooping so low. But anyways, uh number four uh I mean number seven God number seven. Okay, is uh it's Gengar from Pokemon. Um, 
We, I know, yeah, it would probably, I mean, although it would add, like, another Mega, um, like, I think that'd be pretty cool, just to have, like, Gengar in the game. We don't have, like, a ghost-type representative, and he'd be, be, like, a, he'd play probably a little better, like, a little good, because, let's see, his down B would probably be Sneak, uh, Shadow Sneak or something, not Substitute. Uh, he'd have Shadow Ball, he'd have, um... His up B would probably be like his levitate powers, so it would like would be like a floating type thing, like he could float a little bit for a couple seconds. That would be pretty cool. Um, but Gengar is like one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, although he's not number one, he's not number one on this list because my want, uh, for my number one wants another Pokemon, and I did mention it in another video, so you guys should pro know if you guys watched it. Um. But yeah, I think Gengar would have been pretty cool, especially like with his lick attacks would be like his A, and I think that'd be funny. I don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, moving on to number six, uh, which is Knights from. I'm gonna go with the Sonic series because she she was represented more in the Sonic series, or she or he. I don't know actually. Um, I think it's a she. I'm going with she. Um, but uh, Knights is. I think it would have been interesting because, well, it's a more of a nostalgic thing for me with Knights. Um, and I do have a, I have one more nostalgic one that nobody would probably understand. Um, but, um, I guess I, I had the game, um, the one that came out on the Wii and I enjoyed it. Um, I could never beat it though. Like when I was a kid, I could never beat games. And then when I turned like 10 or 11, I started to be able to beat games. Um, but... You know, it was fun. So yeah, um, that that's why. And I literally thought of her when I was watching something, and I didn't even know. Uh, I think somebody was in a, I think somebody yelled the knights, and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about knights. And then I remembered about one of my other picks. But anyways, uh, moving on to number five, which is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, he's low on this list because he's not as nostalgic for me. And no, it's not the nostalgic person I was just talking about before. But, uh, Sora, uh, I haven't really played too much of Kingdom Hearts, um, but, uh, as, as much as I have played, I liked Kingdom Hearts. I think it would have been pretty interesting to see it, although it, his final smash would probably be a clone of, um, what's his name? Uh, Shulk? Shulk. Shulk. Yeah, Shulk. I'm going with Shulk. That's what his name was. Boom. But uh, Shul um, but Sora uh, would be pretty interesting. Although you would need the per permission of Disney, so that would have never happened in a million years. Which is why we got like Gino. I think they were probably planning on doing something with Sora and Kingdom Hearts if they didn't do the Gino stuff, and then everybody would have gotten really pissed off <laughs> if they didn't do something with it. I think people are more happy than what would than what happened with Tails and Knuckles. It was so that was funny. Uh, especially I watched uh, somebody's uh thing of it it was funny as uh it was funny because they just started laughing because they they just thought it was so terrible but anyways so moving on the number four is uh billy hatcher from billy hatcher and the giant egg this is like the nostalgia factor for me i got this game when i was four but yeah i, I got this game when i was four so it was pretty fun for it was pretty fun and uh, I can never, I, I don't know if I could ever beat this game, like, ever. I am I think I might plan on playing it, but I don't think I'm ever going to beat it because, I don't know, things were weird. And I could never beat it because of, like, certain obligations and stuff that happened. But, um, you know, Billy Hatcher, I think that'd be pretty cool. And he kind of, like, he's a character that would fit Smash, but I feel like he would drop, he's dropped out because, um... How do I put this? Like, he hasn't had a game ever, like, since his, his one game, so it wouldn't really make too much sense, but I would like him in the game, but, you know, um, yeah, the only times he's ever been represented was the, was the Sonic racing games, and I don't really like those as much, so yeah, they're kind of just kind of, they're kind of just copy-offs of, uh, you know, <laughs> the Mario Kart so yeah, um, but moving on to my top three, these are picks that I thought were actually going to get in, so, and I, and I thought they, I wish they were, but moving on to number three, and he's only number three because I've 
actually have never really played the game, but I've only seen a few like content of it. It's a uh, Shovel Knight. Um, I actually thought with the amiibo that we would get Shovel Knight. I mean, like, I didn't think, but like, I f I was just like, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I really wish that we did, because I I like Shovel Knight. I mean, I think it would have been like a diverse move set, and you know. But I feel like sometimes everybody in the um, in the Smashify, they're just like, nope, we're not gonna do it. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> They've probably taken notice to, like, them and, uh, other people that do that stuff. Um, so they're just like, nah. But, yeah. Um, Shovel Knight would have been interesting. Um, I don't really know what his final smash would be, though. I mean, it would be something that he used on the final boss. I don't really know. But Shovel Knight, I think, probably would have... It probably would have been the most predictable out of everybody, especially... I don't think I don't I think people predicted more Shovel Knight than Bay, Bayonetta and I feel like he was he might have been higher up in the US along with my number 2 and I think worldwide because they said m amongst realizable characters um amongst realizable characters what did it, what did it, oh amongst realizable characters she uh Bayonetta was number 1 so I feel like there was like she would she might have been like number 3 or 4 and I feel like Number number one was I think it was like one of the characters returning and I feel like that that would have been the most pointless like no offense to like them but I feel like the if if the smash if the smash ballot was that it would have been really like why it, they should have just been in the game already say um so and then I feel like the other ones were just like because of copy off including this one so I feel like she was number four but my numbers three and two are the are probably like two and three worldwide or from North America at least so from that I guess transitioning to number two is Banjo Kazooie or Banjo and Kazooie from Banjo Kazooie um this is a nostalgia factor for me as well I love Banjo Kazooie um I don't know I like I like those types of games and I think that everything that Banjo Kazooie could do in the games would be good to see in the in Smash Brothers but you know they the, um I think it was more of because the guys at Rare said yeah I guess so and I don't know like what Microsoft's standpoint was because they bought Rare it might have been them because they're their asses about things and I feel I feel like one day they're gonna try to do something and uh, Sony and Nintendo are probably just gonna wreck them and they're just gonna just say okay maybe we should try something on the PC and compete with PC then they're gonna fail and they're just gonna be like let's stick to computers so yeah that's my guess let's just yeah they'll just be like let's just stick to computer making and see what happens um, but number, my number one, um, I did say this, I think, uh, my number one is Skeptile from Pokemon. Um, I feel like we have a, gra now we have a grass representative, we have, I mean, we have a fire, we have water, we have, like, those types, and, you know, I feel like it was missing grass type, even though we, yeah, so we do have the Pokemon, but still, I feel like it was missing that, um... Um, I feel like it would have been perfect if they released it as first day DLC because Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did come out with the Wii, um, along with Smash Bros. for Wii U, like, on that day, if, I, I'm pretty sure, well, at least in North America, so that would have been, that, I think that would have been pretty cool to see, and, you know, or at least he was, like, he was, like, said, they said something about him on that day, and they said, oh, yeah, if you, pre if you, uh, got Smash Bros. on the first day, you get, a uh, Skeptile from Pokemon. I think that would have been pretty cool. I think now you probably can't do it, but, um, I hope for the 7th gen grass type to be super badass, and we get him in the game, because I don't, I don't want to get, I don't, I think Greninja's good, like, as he is. I don't think we should take him out of the game. And put another water type in, or we should have another water type. So, anyways, uh, with that being said, um, that's that's it for my top ten. Uh, I guess you know, uh, like, rating, subscribe, and uh, um, there won't be an update for Smash Bros. So the next time, um, what I'm thinking is just because um, people want to 
uh, the next recording session we may have Smash. I don't know yet. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, and yeah, bye.